picked up Annie and Clarabella were waiting for Bertie and Ellsbury, but he never arrived. We got a call from his driver saying how they had gotten into an accident, but before he could continue, the call ended. I thought I heard weird moans and what I thought were screams in the background. I was worried, but he did say that there was an accident, so I thought they got into a car accident. I just hoped they were alright. We were at Falker waiting for the rest of our passengers to board and something caught my out there. The distance was a large group of people. This group was fucking huge, I tell ya. However, something was off. They were all making strange sounds and noises. A workman went to see what the problem was, but once he got close, he screamed in fear and began to run, however. Those things got him first and pulled him into the horde and deboarded him. That was when they began to pick up the pace and began to run. The passengers boarded faster than I've ever seen before. The remaining workmen banged in the doors begging to be let inside when those things made it to the platform and attacked them. It was an awful sight. I threw on the throttle and with a jerk we raced down the branch line. Thomas had never moved so fast in his life, nor had he ever been so scared. into the goods shed and I was sweeting my ass off. No one knew what the hell was going on and Thomas was scared beyond belief. He was panicking, saying how we had to keep going to get as far away as possible. That wasn't going to be possible though. We were low on coal thankfully there was a Napford Harbour Company truck filled with coal so that solved one of our problems. It took a while as we had to refill his bunker by hand but as long as we had coal and water we'd be fine. While we were refilling Thomas with coal, a whistle showed from the nearby Henry's tunnel and Emily was passing the coaches. The first two we saw were filled with scared and worried people, while the third was a different story. It shook and rattled. I thought I heard muffled screams from within, but I couldn't tell as blood coated the windows from within. 